Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Wade and in this video I'm going to show you how to schedule a broadcast inside the BoxCast dashboard. So to get started, you're going to want to hit schedule on the left hand side of the screen. Next, you'll be presented with four options. One is our standard scheduling, and that is actually what I'm going to walk through. Uh, the next is a quick test. So if you're just trying to run a quick test and test some new gear, click on that. Or you could go live with our producer app, which is really cool. Um, and lastly, we have this bulk import option, which I think is actually really valuable if you have a ton of broadcasts that will all have different names, start at different times, maybe have some different features. What happens here is you click on this and you actually download a Excel template, which then you upload into here and it actually puts in all your broadcasts for you. So if you need that tool, definitely take advantage of it, but let's go back to standard scheduling. So to start, um, if you're just scheduling a single broadcast, you can select that option here, or if you're scheduling a recurring series, like something where it's every Sunday or every Wednesday, uh, you can click this here. You can actually schedule up to 100 broadcasts in a row, all with the same information, and then later on edit them if you need to. Uh, for this example, we'll just schedule a single broadcast. So let's actually schedule it for, let's say Friday night. So we'll select the date. We'll go in here, we'll say 6 p.m., and we'll say that it ends at 9 o'clock. Now, something we always recommend to people that, let's just say that your duration of your broadcast is, starts at 6 and ends at 9. You might actually want to extend this end time 30 minutes to an hour just to ensure that the broadcast doesn't stop because once it hits this end time, it will end the broadcast. Uh, next, let's give it a name. Let's call it Friday Night Concert. Okay. And there's a couple more broadcast options here. So you can add a description, which is just additional information that appears on your embed code. And you can add an image or select something from your computer. Highly recommend adding an image. It makes the embed code on your website look a lot better. Uh, so next, we're going to select our source. So assuming this is a live broadcast, you would select this. But let's just say you wanted to upload a video, then rebroadcast it later. We have that option as well inside of BoxCast. But for now, this is a live broadcast. It's going on Friday, so we need to select a video source. Your source is the device that is actually doing the live streaming. So in our case, we'll select one of our boxcasters. But let's just say you have you know, an RTMP encoder like OBS or Wirecast. You can set those up down here as well. So let's select our box. Uh, there's some additional source options. So if you have an audio level that maybe it's just coming from HDMI or maybe it's coming in from analog, you can select that. Um, and then you can also change the BoxCast flow settings, which this is really, really important if your network is not as good at your uh, organization. So if you have pretty spotty network or you have drops a lot, we recommend turning this on enhanced or maximum if you have our pro. Um, and this only works on our BoxCasters. So if you're using RTMP or a different encoder and you are having network issues and dropouts, definitely take a look into one of our BoxCasters and using BoxCast Flow. Next, let's talk about our destination. So you actually want to go live to Facebook or YouTube. You're going to do this right here. So you'll see if you just want to click on YouTube or whatever, you can select one of the things to go to. Um, and if you have multiple YouTube pages like we do in this account, you can select those as well. You're going to want to select the, uh, select the visibility to be public or unlisted. Uh, private is obviously going to be private on YouTube. So let's just make them public. And then if you have a Facebook login, you can add that as well. So we'll add my page, we'll do a test, and we can add another page. If you want to add a custom destination like Twitch, uh, you can go over to custom destinations, you can add it here and click configure new RTMP destination. Um, let's go back to social media though, and you'll see that all of our pages are set up. Now if something is not in here, like let's say you want to go to Twitter with one of our integrations, you can click on this button here and it will take you to our settings so you can set that up in the integrations tab. So if it keeps scrolling down, visibility, uh, you can go public or private. So in this case, we want our broadcast to be public. Private would just mean that it would stay inside the dashboard. Um, and then what's kind of nice here is you can set the visibility to private after the broadcast. So let's just say you want to edit it or you want to upload a replacement broadcast uh, for people to see that afterwards. You can do that. And then once it's live, it just automatically goes to private. And I would always recommend having record the broadcast here um, and you can always download it later and put it on a hard drive if you choose to delete it. So next, if you wanna add your broadcast to a channel, you can do that very easily here and think of channels like playlists. They're a great way to organize your content and get different embed codes for each channel to put on your website or again, get a link to send just a certain amount of broadcast to someone. Um, if you have our scoreboard option, you can enable that here. And you'll see we have our manual scoreboard or our automated scoreboard. 
And lastly, we're gonna walk you through our advanced settings, which you'll be able to change some audio video settings. You'll be able to add password protection or um, restricted embedding on a website. You can add the automated captions feature, which in this case, we have it turned on to automatically caption. Uh, we have our podcast setting and our network setting. But once you're done and all these settings look good, just hit schedule a broadcast. And now you'll see we're on our broadcast details page. You'll see that all of our destinations are set up and we have our different options over here like overlays and documents that we can add. And lastly, let's just say you wanna edit it like, oh, I didn't capitalize Friday night concert. I can go in here and I can edit all this. And that's how you schedule a broadcast. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at questions at and they'd be happy to help. Thanks.